Hey guys, what's up? George Payne here today, and today I've got a pod test for you. And today's pod comes to me from John Ford over at Ford's Fire Foods. This is a chocolate maruga. I have two of them. One's on the plate, already de-seeded, ready to roll, so I can get on with the pod test. I've got two of them. I wanted to do that, try to cut down on the video since I have both. And this is the pod. This is beautiful. I'll show you the other one too, but beautiful colors, beautiful pod shapes, and just awesome gnarly looking chilies. So thank you, John, for sending this one to me. I really appreciate it. John's a really awesome guy. He runs Ford's Fiery Foods. They sell seeds. They'll have plants available from March to June, and hopefully they'll have some fresh pods for sale here soon. So check him out. Link will be in the description. He's a good friend, and he's just an awesome guy. He, he really will make you feel like number one over there. He is all about customer service, too. But there's some debate about this pod right here. The chocolate maruga and the brown maruga, well, they're two different peppers. I guess there's a grower out there that's advertising them as being the same thing, and they're not. Um, they're different. The chocolate maruga is a little bit smaller, is a little bit more dense, and has a sweeter, fruitier flavor, where the brown maruga could be much larger, it's not as dense, and it can potentially have some bitter undertones in the flavor. So they are two different chilies. If you're buying the chocolate maruga, it is not the same thing as the brown maruga, so be careful with that. Um, make sure you, you get your seeds from a reputable company. And, uh, yeah, check John out. He's got seeds to the chocolate maruga. And check Judy out. She'll have seeds to the brown maruga, or they will come in the maruga pack. If you buy the maruga pack, you will get some brown marugas in there. So check that out as well. So here we go. I'm going to show you the pod that I'm doing today. Right here, look at the skin of that one, and look at the placenta. Looks really crazy. Lots of oil. Very scary pod. This is. I know that I'm going to get destroyed completely by this pod. There's no doubt. There's some more right there. Just freaky looking pod. You can see the sheen of the oil right there on the back. That's not a good sign, ladies and gentlemen. That is not at all. This pod is really going to wreck me, I'm sure. Beautiful color. Show, put it together. Show you the whole pod. Right there. Nice pod shape as well. And, uh, yeah, super nervous. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. It's Saturday. I'm going to go hang out with my wife, have a little date. Uh, we're going to go to Bush Gardens over in Williamsburg today. And uh, we're just going to spend some time together and, and go out on a little date and hang out. You know, you got to do that. So, uh, here we go. This is the brown, this is the chocolate maruga, sorry. Chocolate maruga. Beautiful color. And uh, here we go. This is, once again, chocolate maruga. I smelled this pot earlier. The pot had a very fruity smell, and I didn't get very much floral at all. Really, none at all. I don't like floral pods. The pod was fantastic smell, though. The fragrance, very fruity, very dark fruit. I didn't smell it again, but I had to smell it when I cut it open. It smelled very nice. Very fragrant, no floral, very dark fruit, very sweet smelling. I didn't smell even a hint of bitterness. Very hot pod. Ugh. Sorry, it hurts. Really, it hurt pretty bad. Very nice flavor. No floral notes on the flavor at all. Very sweet. It's it's got a very sweet undertone taste. Very dark fruit. Very fruity. Very nice. It's it's. It's extremely hot. I'm starting to sweat. It, it, it's extremely hot. This one's a no joke. I give the heat of this one already an 11. It hasn't even peaked yet. And I still give it an 11. It's, it's just 
Ugh. My uh, eyes are starting to water. My sinuses are starting to roll. My mouth feels like the afterburner of a jet. My throat's starting to get that little burn from the saliva. It's a pretty, pretty spicy pod. Very, very hot. It's extremely hot. My mouth is just getting floored right now. My tongue, my tongue, it feels like it's been burned off. My lips are numb. My top of my mouth is numb. That's a new feeling. I've never had my top of my mouth go numb, and it's numb right now. It's crazy. It's it's a very deep, penetrating, just insanely violent burn. It, it's trying to get in your. You can definitely feel it just uh, penetrating inside. The, the mucous membranes and the walls and your mouth, the saliva glands, all of that. And I feel it back there near my tonsils and just feel it working. And the saliva just picks the oil up and the heat and just spreads it around the mouth. It, it's this one is uh, no joke. <sighs> Yuck. It's just hot. Yucky hot. It's not yucky flavor, but it's just, ugh. It just makes me cringe. The heat is making me hot. My whole body's getting hot. Endorphins are starting to kick in. I'm crazy. I'm starting to get a massive endorphin rush. I'm getting lightheaded. Just crazy. It's a crazy pod. Very good flavor, though. And that's very rare to have an extremely hot pod with such a beautiful flavor. I give the flavor of this one a 7. He heated this one a tw uh, an 11. I think it's finally peaked, and it, it's extremely hot. Seek this one out. Like I said, chocolate maruga is different than the brown maruga. Don't fall into that trap. And uh, I'll see you guys for another pod review soon. Check out John Ford over at Ford's Fiery Foods and Plants. He's a really awesome guy, and he has seeds to this chocolate maruga. And uh, it's hot. It feels like my like mouth is bl ugh, blistering up. Uh, well, I'll see you guys soon in the next review. Hope y'all have a wonderful Saturday. I'll see you on Sunday. And God bless. See you later. Take it easy.